Hi, welcome to the man with the scent. I am the man, and this is the scent that I will be reviewing today. It's called Waldorf Rocket. Uh, I have a soft spot for Waldorf since Lofeld has been the first hardware scent that I ever bought. So naturally I got quite curious when I heard that this is um, being released. This is an entry level scent costing 220 euros. Uh, if you compare it size-wise to over and three level scents like this, Depth uh, Dark Energy, it's a bit bigger. And now let's plug it in and I will do a quick preview of all the features. Okay, it's plugged in, so let's start with few words about the build quality. The top plate is metal as well as the back plate, rest is plastic, knobs are plastic and surface mounted so they are a bit wobbly. Mm. Inputs, uh, it has standard MIDI in and out, a USB which can double as MIDI in and the this is the power plug so the AC adapter outputs USB bulk plug. Audio out, VCF in, so you can use this as a filter box and headphone out output. Since I like Waldorf, I will start with the bad sides of the scent to leave the good sides for the end of the review. Uh, probably the most limiting part is the envelope. It's an instant on. And the only thing you can really dial is the decay. Time. You can switch it to an uh, one shot drum like envelope. And you can disable the release. Completely. There are two envelopes. So the other is for the VCF. But they use the same decay parameter. So this is quite limiting, really. Uh, the scent doesn't uh, have any presets uh, accessible via the front panel. However, it does handle dumping presets via MIDI and uh, retrieving them from a sequencer. Mm. The phone output, uh, again a bad side, it's really crappy, it's noisy if you are previewing this scent in a shop uh, using headphones just take this into account. The real output signal is very clean but the phones not exactly. Uh, and it doesn't have a volume knob aside from the phones, which makes it a bit difficult in live settings or uh, when you want to reamp the scent. Um, okay, now on to the good sides. The best thing about this scent is probably the oscillator. This is a digital oscillator as far as I can tell. It has very many functions. So this is standard Sawtooth. It has a glide. The glide is set up to work only on legato notes, which is good in my opinion. Now uh, the Sawtooth oscillator offers are so oscillator sync sounds. If you turn this detune knob you dial the, how the two oscillators are detuned 
and you can do a sweep of the, the tune. Yeah. Now if you turn this uh, above 12 o'clock, you get multiple souls. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, up to eight. And with this knob you dial the, the tune. This is a smooth detune and above 12 o'clock we go to musical intervals detune. Now if both knobs are turned all the way to the right you go to a unison slash paraphonic mode so you can play it a bit polyphonically. Now, the other type of wave on offer is the pulse wave. You can change the width of the pulse, obviously, up to no existent, where you can use the. You can use the filter uh, as the oscillator. If you turn the knob to the right you get pulse with modulation using an internal LFO now if you turn this knob you get a second detuned oscillator and again you can use um, the interval tuned oscillators unfortunately no unison here let's talk about the filter now it is an analog resonant multi-mode filter with low pass band pass high pass modes 0 50 and 100 percent keyboard tracking cutoff resonance and envelope modulation parameters this is the low pass filters And an extra is the boost circuit. I quite like this filter. Uh, it's got very nice sounds, especially in the low frequencies. And it really does sound analog. I have already talked about the envelope section, which isn't very impressive, and now let's move to the LFO. LFO can be directed to the filter. It goes into the low audio range at about 50 Hz. as very slow sweeps if you turn the speed completely to zero you get random offset on the start of each note which is a nice extra the LFO can also be directed to the oscillator if you turn the knob above 12 o'clock you get interval which is a bit nice and the free wave types are square triangle and so the LFO also doubles as an ARP Can dial in the type of the octave range, movement direction.
up, up, down, and random. Speed. By the way, the speed of the ARP and LFO can be tempo synced if there is a clock signal coming via the MIDI. And if you turn the knob above 12 o'clock, you get rhythmic patterns, which Which is, I guess, interesting. Now some extra features that are available only via MIDI. There is a second LFO here, routed to the model wheel. Um, where the filter cutoff frequency can be modulated via the aftertouch. And if you've got envelope modulation, it can be modulated from the velocity of the key. Of course, there's also pitch bend. So, now that I have reviewed the features of it, I must say that playing with it for two or three days, I quite like the sound of it. Uh, in two days I will do a sound demo so you can listen to them for yourself. Um, at this price point, the only downside of this scent is the envelope section, which is a bit too simplified for my taste, but still you can make many interesting sounds using this scent. It sounds really analog, so thank you for watching. Um, subscribe, rate, comment. I don't know if this is my first YouTube video, so thanks for watching. Bye.